Hey, what's up, ladies and gentlemen? I'm Inez Lea, and today it's Filmmaking Friday. In today's Filmmaking Friday, I'm gonna show you something really cool. We're going to see how to teleport through a portal within different scenes. So that's a pretty cool effect. If you wanna work on the exact same footage as I am doing, uh, I will put all the links in the description and you can download the files so you can follow along with this tutorial. The portal effect itself won't be provided with the tutorial files, but you can follow the tutorial to create one yourself. If not, you will have to get our pack. I will put that link in the description. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy watching this video, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when we upload new videos. So so without further ado, let's jump into Adobe After Effects and get started. Alright, so here we are in Adobe After Effects and I prepared two video files uh, for you guys. If you want, you can download them with a link in the description so you can follow along with the tutorial. So right here I have a turn and look on the street and then I have another shot right here in another location uh, where I do this exact same movement and I actually counted my movement so it would be kind of the same it doesn't have to be exactly but uh, just try to make it as close as possible so um, I'm doing everything handheld by the way uh, it doesn't really matter that much then I have here a uh, portal that I will be using to track into my scene, uh, which is actually from our Doctor Strange pack, which you can download. Uh, we'll actually get at our website, but I also show you how to make this in another tutorial. So if you want to make it on your own, just go ahead to that tutorial. Um, but yeah, let's continue with the tutorial. The first thing that I'll do is create a new composition and make this portal scene. Make sure it's 24 FPS and full HD and then click OK. I'm going to bring in my first video file right here. So I have my video file and from the second the animation starts right here, I'm going to press B on the keyboard and just trim my comp to work area, move all the way till the end, like over here and press N on the keyboard, right click, trim to work area. Okay, so we have our video. Um, the next thing that you want to do is actually track it. But before we start, I just want to make sure that uh, everyone is on the same level as my After Effects. Currently, I'm working in a 32 bits per channel, which we will be using later on. If you click on this, you can uh, change this to 32. This will allow us to work with glows a little bit better. So um, next, click on your video file, go to Tracker and track the camera. Then go to advanced and click on detailed analysis. This is going to do a little bit better of a job. And then you just wait until it's analyzed in the background uh, completely. So right here we can see the, uh, the progress of your tracking. Okay, so it's done tracking. It's all the camera. And if we are going to look, everything seems uh, to work fine. So what I'll do is now pick a location where I want the portal to be. So right here, uh, kind of at this level of this kind of uh, tree, we're going to select a few of these dots then right click and create a null and camera. And this will create a 3D camera, uh, which we'll be using as reference for the location for kind of uh, the positioning. So now go to your project manager and import that prod and that portal actually, and bring it into your scene. So right here we have the portal. And I'm going to change the blending mode to screen. Press F4 uh, on the keyboard if you don't see the different options, but yeah, this is how you switch between the, uh, this menu. Make the portal also a 3D layer and then go to the track null, press P on the keyboard, click on that position and hold control and press C on the keyboard to copy that information. Now go to the portal and paste that with control V uh, and now the portal is at the exact same location as the null. So we're going to make it bigger and now just make it in our position where we want it to be. So maybe right over here, which is uh, kind of fine, I think we have our portal, but as you can see, the portal isn't that clear. We're just going to affect Video Copilot VC Color Vibrance. If you don't have this plugin, it's a free plugin from Video Copilot and it's awesome to color anything that's black and white. So that's really cool. If we click on that immediately, you can see that we gave it, well, we've given a color to our portal. So what we'll do is pick our color and make our portal. If we press F4, let's try additive. So we see it a little bit better. If you want to make it more intense, you can just duplicate it one more time. And there we have it. So next, what I want to do is actually select all this information. So the portal, the duplicate of the portal and the track information on the null and the 3D camera. And we're going to layer pre-compose and pre-compose this portal to a new composition and click OK. Then go into that portal composition and click on the track null and camera, control C 
and paste it again in our original file so we also have that information for later on. Then make the portal track again an additive. Okay, there we go. So now what I want to do is create some reflection on the floor. So in order to do that, I'm going to create a new portal scene. Uh, well, actually a new solid, I'm sorry. And rename this to reflection. And give it a nice color that is kind of similar to the color of our portal. Click OK and OK. So we have our solid. Press F4 on the keyboard to make it a 3D layer as well. And go to the track null, press P on the keyboard and click on the uh, position, Control C and do the exact same thing, paste that information to our reflection. Now move it over and rotate it in the same kind of perspective as the street. So I can make it a little bit bigger, just like this. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just kind of position it right over here. Uh, okay, so now go over here and select the ellipse tool double click on that I will create an ellipse just like this Then press M on the keyboard and then press M twice on the keyboard to bring up all the information about that mask Increase the feather and decrease the expansion Something like this click again on that reflection layer and now you can of course fine-tune it maybe move it a little bit forward bring it a little bit closer to that camera. And also bring it a little bit more in on the sides. And there we have it. Press F on the keyboard and change the blending mode to an additive. So now we have our reflection on the floor. I'm going to bring this behind our portal track. And then what I want to do is click on our original video and duplicate it with Ctrl D on the keyboard or edit duplicate right here. Click on it and go to Effects, Color Correction, Tint. And then I'm going to Effect again, Color Correction, Levels, to bring these in. So bring this in and over here also. And then play it around with the middle a little bit to create a nice contrast in the street. So we have a lot of information in here. Something like that. Okay. So this is going to be our Luma. We're going to put it on top of our solid layer. Click on the solid and change the track mat. If you don't see it again, F4 on the keyboard, right click Luma mat. And this is going to kind of bring in the reflection of the street a little bit better. You can see that um, the reflection looks a lot more realistic. And of course you can pr press T on the keyboard for the reflection and bring down the opacity if you think it's a little bit too strong. And again, move it forward a little bit more. something like that okay next what we want to do is actually replace the center here uh, for another video file so what we'll do is right click new and create a new solid layer and this is going to be our alpha and again make it a different color maybe black click ok and ok now deselect it just so you can see everything in the scene but make sure that the layer is selected and again go to, to that ellipse tool over here in the center hold ctrl and shift and make a nice sphere well circle just like this and then kind of move it perfectly in the center of our portal we can double click on it to make it even bigger just play around with it and there we go and we can of course uh, enable it again and press f on the keyboard to feather it out just a little bit something like that would be great and if you want to take it a step further you can click on it and go for effects and presets and search for rough and edges and apply that to your solid as well and in here we can remove the edge sharpening a little bit the scale we can bring it something like this and increase the complexity just a bit and that way we create a nice kind of transition to our video later on so this solid that we're using right here is actually going to replace our video uh, later on in time so again we are going to track the null uh, so uh, go to the position ctrl c and paste it to our solid after we uh, we've made it a 3d layer so press f4 create 3d and paste it on here and now kind of reposition it into its location so we have to rotate it a little bit rotation tool is by the way over here we can also use this uh, and w as a hotkey and just bring it into location okay so there we have it great so now it's going to track properly with our portal 
So now what we want to do is go to our project file and import our secondary layer and put it on top and kind of find the exact same location where the movement is happening like this, I think. Okay. And now bring it below that alpha layer, press F4 on the keyboard and go for track mat, alpha mat. And now the black circle is actually going to replace our new footage. And there we see our new video file over here. And of course you can just move this uh, over a little bit and actually select these two things and put them behind our regular portal. And there we go. So now the portal has a nice overlay and if we're going to play this, we can actually see that our portal isn't um, made over here. So what I'll do is click on the portal layer. So go in here and just offset the portal raw a little bit so it's already made something like this and go back to the portal scene and if it's not perfect yet what you can do is just move it over just a little bit until we are at its final stage over here and check the portal for now so we can concentrate on our view and just make sure the position is exactly the same so reset our position okay now click on this layer and the alpha, we're actually going to close everything down. So I'm going to give this a color so we can actually see this a little bit better, blue. So this is our new video with the alpha combined. Select so both of these layers and control D to duplicate them on top and maybe give this a new, uh, new color, maybe yellow. And go to your video and go to effect and apply a color correction tint effect to that. And here we're going to give it a uh, dark kind of red color, click OK and here maybe a nice orange color something like this okay and change the blending mode to an additive or screen so it's up to you maybe screen is a little bit better and there we go so it looks like it's in the portal And now what you can do is click again on this layer, duplicate it without the alpha and change it to no track mat. So we have it on top, delete the tint effect and change it back to a normal blending mode. And we're going to put this on top of everything. There we go. Now hold shift, no, now hold control and shift and press D to split the layer and delete the first part. So now we have this and then our new layer. So. There we have it. Then right click new and apply an adjustment layer. And here I'm going to use one of our transitions of the transition pack. So I'm going to head over to TC and go for a TC zoom, uh, which you can also get at our website or make your own. Um, I have a bunch of tutorials for this. Maybe the hyper zoom, I'm going to apply it over here. Press U on the keyboard and move it over. I'm actually going to change the zoom point as well. So it has to be over here okay there we go and for the zoom amount I'm gonna set this to like 100 and there we basically have it one more thing that we have to do is just go to our original portal and I waited for this at the end because this is quite a heavy effect uh, in this case I'm going to use one of our free presets perfect glow uh, which you can also get with the link in the description. If we're going to apply this to our portal track, uh, we get a nice glow over here. So we're going to lower the threshold to 25 on the top one and just decrease the glow over here. And if we jump into portal track, we can actually change the color. I think it's a little bit too intense. So what I'll do is go over here and change this one to maybe a kind of yellow-ish. And this is a little bit better. And actually on this layer, I'm going to delete our VC color vibrance and just play around a little bit more with this one here. Increase the vibrance just a touch and duplicate it one more time to make it something like this. This looks pretty cool. Go back to your portal scene and refine your glow a little bit more. And there we have it. Okay, that's pretty cool. And maybe in this case, you can also go for a screen, which looks a little bit better and just increase the intensity of the glow a little bit more. So we have more detail in here. Okay, this is getting closer, maybe 50. 
or 90, okay. And now let's preview it one more time. All right, there we go. So now what I will do is just create a new adjustment layer. And here I'm going to apply a color correction lumetry color to apply a final creative look over here in the look. Maybe something like the apocalypse. This is one of our look packs actually, which you can also get. I will also put a link in the description, but that's of course completely up to you. This is just to finalize everything. Maybe the 300 or let's go for a badass. Okay, this one before and after this looks a little bit better okay cool all right so that's it for this video i hope you enjoyed it if you did give this video a like also subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you get notified when i upload new videos also check out our website we have a bunch to offer for filmmakers motion graphics artists and anyone that actually creates something digital uh, and if you would buy something from our website that would be a great help for the channel it would help to support us and apart from that, I hope to see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.